Hello everybody, Mark here, and today I'm going to get back to the Tesco challenge. I've, I've been, uh, I had a break from the Tesco challenge for just a few days. I need, uh, I wanted a break because I wanted to try some different foods. Uh, I wasn't feeling well for a couple of days, and then the uh, the uh, lost the internet connection for a while. I think it might be due to the snow, possibly. Um, anyway, anyway, I'm going to be back into it today. So what I've done so far is, uh, as you, as I've mentioned a few, in a few videos, the carrots take a lot longer to cook. So what I've been doing for the last uh, seven or eight minutes, I've been cooking the carrots. So they're pretty much done. Now I'm going to take them out, drain them, and I'm going to put some more water in the pan, reboil it. And then bring it up to bring it up to the boil and put the regular vegetables in it, which I'll show you in a moment. Which are the usual broccoli, uh, cauliflower, sweet corn peas, runner beans. Okay, let's have a put a bit more in there. I think. Okay, yeah, because what I do, I only put a little bit of water in a pan for the carrots. Because it doesn't need to be that deep, it just needs to be deep enough to cover the, car cover the carrots. So, um, when they're done, put about half, half fill the pan, and then it'll be deep enough to take the, the other vegetables. Now, also, along with the vegetables, I've run out of potatoes, but that's fine. I'll just use the carrots and the five other veg, so that'll be six veg. I'm going to use the last of the chicken fillets, and the last two... Pork chops. There you go. These were the very first meal in the Tesco challenge, I believe. I think they were the very first. Anyway, so, or first or second. Anyway, so I, I used some of those before and then froze them. And then I, now that I've rethought them out, I'm going to use them up. I've still got another, I've still got another few dinners left. I've still got a couple of meat pies to go. I've got a, a, a piece, one or two bits of fish. Uh, let me see. I've got a Kiev, and I've got a chicken. Well, one of them garlic chicken steaks that I had last week. So what I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll be mixing and matching. I'll put the Kiev with the fish, or I'll put the Kiev with the garlic chicken, or Kiev with a pie. You know, I'll, I'll mix and match. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna bring that back to the boil, and um, then I'll show you what's what. Now then, the the water is coming back to the boil. I've just pulled these out of the freezer. These, as you may have seen from other videos, they're uh, 55 pence for this bag. I've taken six bags of frozen vegetables, which are there are six bags, which equaling five different vegetables. Put an equal amount into 11 sandwich bags. So when I pull one of these out of the freezer, I know exactly it's going to be exactly the same as it was before the one before and the next one and the next. They're all identical. And uh, actually, while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll just recap, you know, for, for those who would, haven't uh, seen the rest of the videos, what, what I've done is I've taken £25 to Tesco, in this case Tesco, I've also done it at Asda and I've done it at Farm Foods. Farm Foods is like a, a freezer place similar to Iceland. Okay, I've gone in there for £25 for as many different ingredients ranging from vegetables, fresh and frozen, uh, all kinds of meat products, from pies to Kiefs to uh, pork chops, uh, fish sticks, fish fingers, uh, did I say pies? Anyway, all kinds of stuff, as much as I can buy for £25. Alright, here we go, I'm going to put this in the, in the water. Um, £25, yeah, and, and the idea is I'm going to make as many many dinners as I can for the £25. Now these, uh, well, because I try and get a wide variety of uh, foods, it'd be simple as hell if I was to just do pie and chips, then do fish fingers and chips, and then do, um, you know, fish cake and chips, you know. That's not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to do big dinners 
wholesome with at least, I mean, because every one of these bags that I've just put in has got broccoli, cauliflower, runner beans, peas, sweet corn. So there's five vegetables every, in every bag. And then I've added carrots, and then when whenever possible, I've added potatoes. See, so that's between five and six and seven vegetables each meal. Um, and then the, the, the variety comes from the meat, you know, from whatever meat. It could be a meat pie, it could be fish, it could be chicken, it could be uh, pork chop, it could be anything. Uh, chicken nuggets. But the main thing is, it's got a meat and it's got a bunch of veg, you know. So it's big, wholesome, it's an adult-sized dinner, and... Plenty of it, you know. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I had a, I had a message from Pete Thomas the other, last week. I've already mentioned that he suggested that I use cider for, you know, with the, well, what he does, he didn't suggest I do, he said that he does it, is use cider with the, and puts gravy granules in it, okay? So, what I figure is, I, I, I don't know whether, you know, because uh, for the first attempt, I don't know whether that'll be too strong. So the first attempt, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use part cider. I actually bought this. Um, I bought a bunch of ciders today. Oh, I went to Asda and they they do six, four, or four bottles for six pounds. And I got four different varieties. Um, the Smirnoff are doing a cider nowadays, raspberry and omega, raspberry and Ome omega. Omega what the f I don't know what the Christ that is. Uh, anyway, I'll, over it. I'll try that out. Anyway, I bought this. This was two pounds on its own. So I'm going to be using this. This is Merry Dad. After the dinner, I'll be doing a review on this. So meantime, I'll be using this for the gravy. Part gravy, part, part cider, part uh, water. Just to see what it's like. And if it tastes good, then I'll next time I'll use more cider. You know, I'm hoping it'll have a fruity, apple flavour. This particular cider is made with apples. Some other ones I've got uh, pear, I've got mixed fruit, I've got pomegranate, I think, in there. Uh, passion fruit and lime, all kinds of shit. Anyway, all right, so what I'll do afterwards, I'll let you know what this is about. All right. What I'm doing here is the vegetables are all cooked, and there's a bottle, this one, in the way. Uh, right, the vegetables are all cooked. I, I, while the, when, the, when the green veg, that uh, that frozen bag of veg was almost done. I threw the carrots back in because they only needed a, just a few minutes. Okay, so now it's all done. I'm going to take all the all the veg out and put them into the colander so they'll drain. And then in a few moments, I shall. Well, what they do, they'll, they'll go into the plate, and then when the meat is done, which is almost the pork chop and the uh, chicken fillet. When they're done, I'll cut them up, add them to the veg, and I'll probably give them another minute in the microwave. And then I'll use the water here for the gravy. Yeah, the hard part, see, because I need to keep the water. See, if I didn't need to keep the water, I'd just pour the whole thing into the colander here, and it would uh, strain out, and everything would be good. But I need to keep the water, so I'm, I'm having to fish the vegetables out a few at a time very it's not uh, not easy I mean because it's easy to get the big ones out but then when you get down to the little the little uh, odds and bits and pieces at the bottom there that's about uh, that's about that okay okay and I'll, I'll show you cooking up the um, chopping up the meat in a moment Okay, I'm about to prepare the gravy mix. Now, what I would normally do is put the water up to half a pint or slightly above. All right, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put six ounces of water and then approximately six ounces of that cider I showed you. So that'll make 12 ounces, which will be slightly over. There's the half, I don't know if you can see that. There's the half pint and there's the 12 ounces. So it's going to be six plus, uh, I don't know, eight ounces. Okay. Actually, there's an interesting thing I found about this. I didn't even realise till, till a few moments ago. It's actually the first cider I've actually bought <laughs> with, a, with a screw top. Well, you know, I've got one here with a pull-off, uh, you know. Anyway, 
What I'm going to do, all right, I'll pour this. Hmm, it smells kind of strong. It smells the. Uh, yeah, I've got a feeling it's going to be kind of sharp. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to pour this up to the 12 ounce marker. Okay. It's a shame to waste all that water, but uh, I don't need any of that water. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the gravy back to the boil. Because the, uh, the, the pork chops... The pork chops have done. And so what I've done, I've actually cut them into tiny cubes, you know, because as you know, I like everything to be, uh, to fit onto a spoon. I don't like to be using a knife and fork when I'm eating, so I'll just use a spoon. So everything's going to be small. So the pork chops are uh, cubed, along with that chicken fillet. There you go. I've cubed that as well into small pieces. And in a few moments, I'm going to throw that in with the pork chops because they're pretty much, they're both cooked. They're just getting sort of extra brown. Uh, when I do that, then hopefully the, the water will be boiled. I'll make the gravy. In fact, I'm, what I'm doing, <clears throat> because I finished with the, the, I've actually got another Bisto gravy down there, but I've opened this one up. This one I got, to, it's actually a pound. It says pound 49, but it's from the pound, pound stretcher, I think. There's so many different, you've got pound land, you've got pound world, you've got pound stretcher, you've got pound Anyway, so it's from one of those ones, right? It's like a big supermarket. Well, it's sort of like a bit like a bit like a pound shop, really, but bigger, you know. Anyway, it's for a quid, so it's not too bad actually. It tastes a bit different. Uh, I might need to add. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water because I've just remembered that last time I used this gravy. Um, Last time I used this gravy, it was like right thick, you know. And uh, see, before what I normally it wouldn't matter too much because I'll just be adding water and uh, you know to to the gravy granules. But because I've got a fixed amount <clears throat> in the pan, uh, I've got six ounces of water plus another eight of cider, and I've just put another few ounces in there. So pre pretty much eight and eight. Eight ounces and eight ounces. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> oh boy, excuse me. Okay, all right, we'll come back when it's uh, when it's boiled. Tell you what though, the smell coming from that gravy, from the water and gr water and cider is coming, uh, is smelling pretty good. So I'm hoping it's gonna taste good once it gets mixed in with that uh, meat gravy granules. Anyway, I haven't shown you the board yet. So what I've got, I've got the, the last two pork chops, one pound 24 total. Uh, what's that, that's about 60, Two p each, yeah, yeah. Uh, one pound twenty-four for the two. All right, the last chicken fillet. There was a pack of four for two pounds, and this is the last. So they're fifty pence each. This is the last one. Carrots. They run at four pence each. So carrots are quite good, you know. Uh, I mean, I've been buying. I don't know which is more. I would. You know, I, I haven't even. I haven't even looked to tell you the truth. But so I don't know whether it's more economical to buy the frozen. I would imagine it would be uh, frozen carrots over fresh carrots, you know, which I think I might look into getting frozen carrots because, uh, you know, they, they, they last a long time, you know, they last that more. So anyway, um, in the raw state, they're, uh, they're approximately four pence each, at least the ones I've been buying. So uh, three of them as well. Right, you've got that bag of mixed five different vegetables in that frozen bag, you know, all, all the bags are the same. So it's the usual 55p. Today's dinner of two pork chops, one fillet, three carrots, and five mixed vegetables, not including the carrots, two pound and 41 pence. There we are. And that is not, that, that, that's not including the gravy or the cider that I put in the gravy. It's just an extra bonus. If you don't happen to have cider at hand, or you have, uh, you know, issues with uh, drinking cider or anything else related uh, 
in that nature. Yeah, you just do like what, what I what I normally do is use the water from the vegetables and put that with the with the gravy granules. Okay, right. I'm going to do. I'm going to put the veg in the microwave. So the veg is heating up. That is the pork chop and the uh, chicken fillet. Okay, that's that. That's almost pretty much done. The uh, the, uh, the veg is in a microwave. The water here is boiling away. I don't want to put that with the gravy granules quite just yet because I want it to be really steaming hot. So we'll come back in a minute when it's uh, ready to eat. Okay, here we go. The water is boiled, the vegetables are ne nearly done, so I'm going to pour... Uh, right, here we go. I'm going to pour this into the gravy granules, up to the half pint. It's a fraction above. I'm going to stir this. Hmm. If it turns out to be too thick, then I'll just put some uh, more, more liquid in there. It's starting to thicken up. Yeah, I might put a, a little bit more in there. As you can see, there's not a lot. There's not a lot left. Just a little bit more. Yeah, because I, I kind of want it to be sort of fairly, not really thin. But uh, not too thick. Okay. Right then. Vegetables done. The chicken and the pork chop. There you go. Spread them over the... Uh, over the top. Last but not least, gravy. Oh, there he is. And a spoon. There we go. Right. Tell you what, this looks quite good, you know. The gravy. Actually, I might have a taste of the gravy, which in hindsight, <laughs> I should have I should have had the taste of the gravy before I put it on my dinner. Uh boy, right, right, let's hope it tastes good. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's got a sort of a a, a light bitter. A light bitter flavour. It's kind of almost Almost sweet. It's not. It, it doesn't taste like beef like the normal gravy does. It's got a sharp bitter flavour, slight sweet flavour, slight meat flavour. Yeah, it's kind of very interesting. Okay, here we go. Oh, hmm. Let me tell you, this is good and it's mm, bloody nice. Because you get a spoonful of vegetables along with the gravy, and then you can just have one. You know, you just manage to pick up one little piece of meat along with it, which is good. You know, everything on everything on a spoon. That's what I like. Yeah, I, I do like to eat with it. You know, because you just you know you, you don't need two hands to eat your dinner. You know, just cut it all up and just eat it with a spoon. That way you don't have to put your, you know, you don't have to put your cutlery down and get a drink of water. Yeah, it is just a, a lot easier. Besides, you know, it just makes stuff s small enough. Hmm. Tell you, this gravy is actually quite interesting. I think next time... Yeah. I might keep it as 50-50 like this time. Or depending how I feel, I might, uh, you know, put more more cider in there. 
to give it an extra an extra bite. Although this doesn't, uh, this is kind of sharp cider. By by the smell, I smelled it. And uh, I got a feeling it's going to be quite sharp and bitter. Because it smells like some other cider that I've been, you know, that I've drank before, you know, in, in uh, while, while doing a while doing a review. Um, that's the thing I do because I did pick up. I picked up six today. M Magna's pear cider, an apple cider, a bunch of mixed fruit ciders, pom pom pomegranate from uh, Smeen. Off of doing some cider, raspberry and. Whatever the hell else they're doing, and uh, pollen and gram it. Yeah, it's all good. Hmm. But after this, I'll probably do a review on that. I haven't tasted it yet, only on the uh, gravy. Right. It was a 21 minute video. Anyway, there you have it. That's how you get six different vegetables, two different meats, one pork, one chicken. Uh, all in a big plate with some cider gravy, or you know, if you you know, if you don't have that, you can just use the regular water from the vegetables. For only two pound forty one, you know, just think what else, uh, you know, if you used to go out somewhere to a fast food plate, you know, or anywhere, what else could you buy with two pound forty one? And then look at this, you know. Anyway. There we are. I'll put my subscribe thing over there, or one of these corners. It'll be in the in your right corner. Uh, please consider subscribing. Have a look at uh, some other videos if you like. I'll put a uh, I'll put a couple of links in the corner, you know, for for other for other challenge videos probably. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.